to you. Oh, hi, everybody. Good morning. Welcome into the St. John's County Show that's on in the morning. This is hurtful, Pete. Just hurtful. <laughs> it's <laughs> All right. It's going to be, we're going to have a positive show today. Yes, we are. It's going to be so awesome. Right. We'll see about that. Uh, it's Friday. Yay! It's a wonderful day. What? How do you like that, buddy? How do you <laughs> like that? Wednesday. It's, it's your only Wednesday. my third day. Dude. How about those apples? <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So that means it is Friday, right? Yes, yeah. it is. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> you were questioning it all. <laughs> really well, I'm not the day guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the day guy. <laughs> So we've got uh, we've got a Florida Man Friday today. I think I haven't even looked to see if we actually have a Florida Man Friday today, but I'm sure we do. Oh, good. It's oh yeah, big fight, big fight today. Uh, what are those called? Jiffy Mart. No. Taco stand. Pharmacy. Okay. Waffle House. Pharmacia. <laughs> Probably should have been a Waffle House. <laughs> Might as well have been a Waffle House. Sounds like a Florida man thing. It was over Cheez-Its. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. White chatter? Because I could throw it out. I, yeah. I can tell you, I've fought for less. Yeah. I'm telling you. It's crappy. Oh, no. Well, Cheez-Its were involved. Okay. This is such a confusing, stupid Florida man story. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Ah, messy. Uh, Cheez Its and a Bible were involved. Oh, the yeah. best. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect combination. Mm -hmm. I think that's the combination the Bible was intended yeah, for, absolutely. I believe. Yeah. And the Lord said, let there be Cheez Its. Cheez -Its. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Big freaking tornado touchdown in St. John's County. What? Yeah. I didn't realize this, but Me the neither. National Weather Service has confirmed it. Like a big one. Hmm. Wow. Uh, two dogs. Met the firefighters who rescued them. Oh, I know from the house fire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so sweet. And uh, you have more. Okay. And more. <laughs> and more. We're going to get you ready for the weekend. Word. All right. Before we do that, I will... Say that Bozard Ford Lincoln is celebrating 76 years in St. Augustine in Northeast Florida. Bozard Ford Lincoln is here for you. You can experience their extensive selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, quick and quality servicing, and their amazing parts and accessory shop. Make sure you grab a signature burger out there at Ford's Garage while you're there. They offer services from home delivery to company fleet servicing at Bozard Ford Lincoln. Your family is their family, and they are driven to inspire. Also, of course, our friends at Fidus Roofing, Great Expectations Realty and Auction, Chiba Hut Toasted Sub, St. Augie's Pizza, BHF Insurance, Lace Med Spa, Griffin Service, Chris Lucero Bail Bonds, and BNS Signs, who we will talk about very, very shortly. But first, officially, good morning, Davey. Yes. And Clay. <laughs> Hurtful again. Oh, <laughs> usurped in the seat. People don't understand the torture I go through before this show starts in the hands of Troy. Yeah. I mean, Tony Belvins. Right. <laughs> Good morning, Troy. How are you, sir? Oh, it is a wonderful Friday. <laughs> yes. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> Troy was that dude in a locker room that would, like, rat tail people in the shower. You know what I mean? Like, it was like, dude, I'm just trying to get my shower. Like, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I blame it on the person next to me. Oh, yeah. never yeah. take blame. Yeah. 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 Never take any yeah. responsibility whatsoever. I would... Uh -huh. I would it would be a hit and run toweling. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody good? Everybody's great. Davey, you're good? Yeah, man. Rock and roll. Clay, you're good? Yep. Wonderful. Got All that right. big drawing today, too. I'm excited. Tyler oh, Farr yeah, tickets. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tyler Farr tickets. I got to put that on my list. No yeah. worries. I got gotcha. you. That's what's we'll in do this that. bag. So you know. Oh, uh, okay. So, so we're we'll doing do the that. official drawing yeah, first yeah. of all today. Yes. All right. We'll get that done today. And you'll be able to pick that up at Chris Lucero's office. Yes, sir. For the winners. All right. Troy, what's our question of the day, man? All right. Question of the day is, what would your walk-in music be if you're a professional wrestler? You know, when they come through the thing, they got their music going. Oh, yeah. What yeah. would your walk-in music be? It's going to be the same song I sang just about a month ago. It's Sawyer Brown. 
Some girls don't like boys like me. All right. Oh, but some girls do. Uh, that's a good one. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's, it's very fitting for Florida Man game stuff. Yeah. Would that hype you up, though? Like, would you, or would you be a little bit more calm, cool, and collected on a song like that? No. Like, I'm going heart, Barracuda. Like, okay. yeah, yeah, like yeah. that revs your engine. <laughs> yeah. What about Welcome to the Jungle for you? No, no. Uh, I, uh, no. No. I'm going to say no for now. Yeah. <laughs> no. I can't even picture it in my head right now. Way too much. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. We got funny games. Yeah. We got ever. Oh, I can man. probably think of a better song. Okay. I definitely can probably think of a better song after you guys go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a round two. <laughs> okay, round two. <laughs> yeah. It's my show. Uh, all right. So what's yours? Barracuda's yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Hardcore. Barracuda. And I'm, I'm actually going to say the Fergie version, which slaps. I got to give oh. it to Fergie. I know. Fergie everyone's like, version. what? Hearts or what? I got to tell you, I studied this. It's really good. Okay. <laughs> Fergie version. I love Fergie. All right. All right. Click. Um, I don't know. Some rap song, maybe. <laughs> some rap song, the guy maybe. Who works in music? Who knows all the songs? Could have been the greatest <laughs> answer, Clay. This is, this is a tough question. I really just song, did whatever the first song that popped into my head was. So that's why I need more time. Too much music, first of all. Second Lots of, of music. All, I would never be a wrestler. <laughs> this question. Good point. Good point. I don't think any of us in this room would ever be a wrestler. No. I would. I would no. slap and scratch the hell out of somebody to win a belt. Yes. I will tell you, I went to that I went to that wrestling school. We filmed a little thing out of that uh, the Hatchet Pro Wrestling School. Right, right, right. And I my entire left side of my body hurt for a week. Oh really? And I did like the easy beginner stuff. For real? Oh yeah, man. It's sort of like uplift uh, yoga. You're sort of like uh, suspended <laughs> in the air. <area. laughs> it ain't yoga, sir. It ain't yoga. <laughs> I said I said David to the school. Yoga. I said David to the school and film it. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. I'm so high. <laughs> that would be amazing. Put me down, put me down, put me down. Insurance. Oh god. <laughs> God, yeah. Uh, All right. Um, and we had we had songs for baseball, and my baseball song was you know put me in coach center field by Fogarty. Oh sure, yeah. All right. But I think for wrestling, I'm gonna go with uh, Smooth Criminal. Oh, that's pretty so good. good. That's pretty good. That's yeah. 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 Okay. Why'd you that's, stop? That's pretty I know, good. It was good. That was good. Yeah. That's yeah. a pretty good one. Yeah. That's a All great right. one. I'm going to go. I heard it on the way in. Why I, said, I love this it. This is a good question. <laughs> I still don't have an actual answer on this. Yeah. I really don't. And, and sticking to your theme is uh, uh, Brothers Osborne has a song that I swear, like, if you listen to it, it's written for me, is uh, a song called I'm Not For Everyone. Okay, <laughs> it's a hundred percent me because I'm like the most polarizing human being I know. Mm -hmm. Either you like me or you hate me. There is nothing True. in between on me. You know me, sir. Yeah. So yeah. Don't, yeah. don't forget about that. Why yeah. would you want it any other way, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with that song. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. I don't even know how I'm it goes. For, I'm not for everyone. I'm, but I'm going with that. Yeah. Final answer. All right. Good question of the day. I'll. I'll. Be really curious what people are saying in the comments on that one. Yeah, Iron Man's one when I saw. Okay, so yeah, Clay, maybe come up with an idea and put it in comments. That'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> I think you can okay, do better. I came out fly like an eagle, and my signature move would be like the eagle drop kick. Like oh, it. Okay. Wow. wow. Strong comeback. Nice. Finish him. Yeah. There you go. Finish him. <laughs> Just needed that caffeine to kick in real quick. <laughs> that's it. All right. All right. That's good. I like it. Um, Clay, what's our traffic report this morning? Oh, the weather's excellent, by the way. Okay. Oh, uh, weather. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Have a few drinks last night. Went out to the Big J Okerson uh, show out there in Jacksonville. Comedian. Oh, okay. Very funny guy. Very, very funny guy. You see how hard it is to go out the night before? You see how hard it is? Yes. It is not easy. I want people to see how hard this is. Yeah. God. Yeah. Take notes. <laughs> Never bother me. Uh, well, that's me. Well, that's because you roll in. You're a professional. You've been doing it for 50 years. <laughs> uh, quick check of the weather, Troy. Excellent. That quick check of the weather brought to you by Great Expectations Realty and Auction. They can sell your home, your business, and everything in it. Check them out at geauction.com, geerealty.us. Oh, that was good.
See, I still got it. Triple yeah. We now go to Clay. Okay. Like I was for saying. Our traffic report. <laughs> totally <laughs> on schedule. Man. Oh, let me get it. Oh, time lapse. All right. What? Is it the wrong lane? <laughs> oh, yeah. I want the zipper merged lane. Ah, smart. <clears throat> We kind of Smart. backfired because this guy like just got my blind spot and wrote it there. Oh. And yeah. Look at that was, building. I Ooh, made the nice bridge. Building. That was awesome. Good job. Yeah. So wonderful. Awesome. By one minute. Oh. The sailboat was waiting. So. That, that's a good feeling. Yes. Make the boats wait. <laughs> Should have just parked on the top of the bridge. It'll make them wait even longer. Sometimes I just like, once I make it past the gate, I just slow down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you're like I'm there, I'm home well, free. It's, yeah, it's a victory. Yes. So, yeah, everything was good. Nothing too crazy. I like going this way because it's the least amount of traffic lights. Yeah, and cones. Yes. Yeah. It's beautiful. It really yeah. is. It's nice. A little less crowded. Got to yeah. deal with the peanut. Yeah. The only thing it's only thing that's missing is the carousel. Yes. Well, you can you know you can do a roundabout there. Yeah. <laughs> Pretend. You can still do a carousel. Just do a loop. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just want to keep moving. I don't want to be st- stood still in like traffic, standing still in traffic. Like, right. I, yeah, I want to keep moving. So if a roundabout's the answer, I'm sorry, that's got my vote. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm starting. I'm starting to warm up to roundabout. Oh, you might be frozen out there, Melfi. Well, I ran out of music, so. Uh, All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting over. Yeah, so. you better uh, wrap it up here. All right. Great. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll wrap this up by uh, letting you know that I'm looking to hire two people who don't like carousels. <laughs> roundabouts. For the morning show. I don't care about carousel, but a roundabout. Carousels or <laughs> roundabouts. <laughs> so I can still be part time. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, thank you, Clay. That traffic report comes to us from a lace med spa. If you're tired, your skin is craving a revival, look no further than a lace med spa. Unmatched expertise, luxurious ambiance. All the great treatments that uh, will help you stay beautiful. Botox, dermal fillers, laser treatments, hair treatments, all that good stuff. You have high standards and so do they. It's beauty on your terms. Elace Med Spa. All right, let's give away some tickets to Tyler Farr. All right. At the Clay County Far Grounds. So we've got we got to pick They've three names it. out of this bag, okay? Three names. And each name gets two tickets. Okay. And they can pick up their tickets from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at AA Bail Bonds, which is at 4540 US 1, okay? Okay. I'll put this in comments for everybody. Is it AA Bail Able? Yes, thank you very okay. much. Thank you. I, th- there's pr- uh, I just don't want people to get confused. Right, there's that's the name on the building. A's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll make Thank it you, nice sir. in the comments for everybody. Thank you. Uh, Troy, what are we waiting on? Oh, I, I thought you were drawing. Yeah. Oh, well, I thought you, you were okay. drawing. Oh, right. I thought you I was, were drawing. I was holding. Nobody knows what's going on here this morning. I was right. holding the bag. Uh, Kizzy is name number one. All right. Kizzy. Kizzy. Two for Kizzy. Two for Kizzy. Two for Kizzy is name number two. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, it's like, uh, <laughs> Gen D is number two. All right, two. Jennifer Demshock. Uh, All right. And last one, Kenny. All right, Kenny. Kenny is name number three. Awesome. So there we go. And his, and his uh, walk-up music's Jailhouse Rock. So okay. Actually, he changed it to uh, Led Zeppelin <laughs> Black Dog. Oh, Ooh, wow. That's, yeah, a, that's a, good a change. way better that's change. A good change. Yeah. Well, Chris, just know when Kenny walks into your office, yeah, buddy. that's but what you got to be playing. I thought the irony of Jailhouse Rock and Chris <laughs> fit together was perfect. <laughs> and Chris cleared it up in comments. Both names are on the building. So uh, go to Chris Lucero okay. Bail Bonds. That'll be go. the easiest. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. All right. Good job. Congratulations. Y'all are going to have fun. <laughs> Fun weekend. Yeah, Clay County, seeing a cool concert. Tyler yeah. Farr, awesome. Clay County is an awesome, awesome venue. Yeah, man. Such a cool venue. Went and looked at that for the games. It's very impressive. All right. Big tornado touchdown in St. John's County on Wednesday. I didn't even know. Actually, while it was raining, I was wondering if there was a tornado going through my Yeah, it was, the wind was... The wind was rough, whew, man. It was, mo- it was getting it. You know so, what? Actually, I did... I thought I heard the train in it, and it was like for five miles away from the train. And I was like, why do I hear a train? Yeah. And it went yeah. on for like 10 minutes. See, I always get paranoid when there's a big storm. I always think I hear a train. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. the, that's the sound they tell you. If you hear a train, it's a tornado. I'm always like, 
it's a tornado. There's a tornado out there. But this this really did happen. So this could have been what you heard, Clay. Depending on where you were, National Weather Service confirmed the occurrence of an EF zero tornado in St. John's County on Wednesday afternoon, according to the National Weather Service. A storm survey conducted by the agency revealed damage consistent with an EF zero tornado with a maximum width of 125 yards. Okay, bigger than a football, than a football field. field. That's Good size. That's a massive tornado. Uh, apparently, it briefly touched down in the Beacon Lake neighborhood. Were you anywhere near Beacon Lake, Clay? I have never heard of that in my life. Okay. <laughs> well, so possibly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Located in northern St. John's County on US-1. No. No. Okay. Wind speeds during the tornado reached 70 to 80 miles an hour at its peak, leading to its classification on the enhanced Fujita scale. I don't know what that is. I've Fujita. never heard of the Fujita scale before. Yeah. It sounds like an appetizer. Uh, oh, I guess that's EF. That's what EF stands for, enhanced Fujita. It does sound like an appetizer. Yeah. <laughs> How's your Fujita today? <laughs> right? yeah. I put a little talcum powder on it, but it still yeah. itches. <laughs> yeah. so the oh, sauce on Fujita. <laughs> Fuji right, that's I guess what it sounds it's, like. Uh, sure. It's up by Nakati, by the way. Okay. okay. All right. Initial reports indicated the straight line wind gusts. The National Weather Service is collaborating with Beacon Lake community to determine the extent of the damage and ascertain oh. whether the event could have been involved in a more in more than straight line winds. This is I really should add you do this story, Troy. I'm not the weatherman. I don't understand what any of this means. So Tetsuya yeah. Theodore Fujita was a Japanese American meteorologist whose research prim primarily focused on severe weather. Uh, oh, I like, thank you. I like Joy's better, the Fujita scale. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the confirmation of the EF zero tornado prompted the uh, suspension of various afternoon activities for schools in Duval and Clay counties on Wednesday. National Weather Service continues to monitor the situation why the storm's gone. So there you go. The National Weather Service is making sure no tornadoes come back in clear weather. That's good. Two dogs. Two. Two dogs. Bubba and Pee Wee. Aww. Yeah. I still think puppy's a better name than that. Yeah. <clears throat> Meet the St. John's County firefighters who rescued them. Take, leave it to me to turn a heartwarming story. I know. I'm like, rescue their names, I yeah. guess we could go mm -hmm. there if you yeah. wanted to. Oh. Poor Pee Wee. Oh. It's stuck with that name. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a small dog. Although it would be funny if that's it's a better big if dog. it's a big dog. Actually. Better, yeah. yeah, definitely better if it's a big dog. Last week, uh, we brought attention to a heartwarming rescue mission conducted by St. John's County deputies and firefighters, resulting in the revival. Revival? Oh, it was a revival of two dogs from a burning home on Powell Road. It's pretty awesome. There's uh, body cam footage of this too. The revival. It's pretty epic. Wow. Yeah, probably too graphic for our show, but yeah, just. Amazing to see these animals have a second chance like that. It's awesome. Without hesitation, deputy and firefighters perform CPR on the animals, administering life-saving oxygen with both. That's right. We talked about the masks. Yeah, yeah. We talked about the dog masks. Yeah. In a beautiful turn of events, they say both Bubba and Pee Wee, accompanied by their family, made a special visit to Station 14 on Thursday to express their gratitude to the heroic firefighters that saved their lives. According to the St. John's County Fire Rescue, both dogs are on the path to recovery. Thank you. Amazing. And the family expressed profound appreciation for the remarkable rescue efforts of all involved. Yep. Yeah. I'm happy for Bubba and Pee Wee. Me too. Me too. Probably not as heartwarming as those videos where the military families come home. Oh, yeah. I cry every freaking time. I know. I saw it's another a, one of those the over the weekend. Yeah. Actually, it clears out your sinuses. So sometimes you just put it on and just like... <laughs> you just cry your face just, like, off. I cry your face off. Those uh, things get me every time, dude. You cry more like, or pee less, like, one or the like, other. You ever do like the... You ever see the first pitch and then the dad takes off his mask? And oh, yeah. Right, dad right there. Like, and the Man. kid just runs, like, arms oh. open. And I know. Or, or uh, show up at the school. Yeah. No. All right, stop it. I'm going to cry. I know. Okay, people I'm out there watching are supposed to think I'm a robot and have no feelings. Okay. I'm, I'm true. Dead inside, remember. Dead inside. <laughs> Soulless. You're not. Dead inside. Dead so, inside. Back to Bubba and Pee Wee. Is there a song called Dead Inside? No, I, I just remix it. Though. Yeah. Music? yeah. In excess. Yeah. Okay. Every single devil, devil inside. Yeah, I like to say dead inside. <laughs> <Okay. Yeah. clears throat> 
Oh, Pee Wee okay. and Bubba. That's, That's a great cute. story, Pee-wee dude. And Bubba. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's, and the, wasn't there a hamster like, involved too? Nobody talks I, about the hamster. Well, yeah. uh, well, you know, you can't really let a gerbil like hang out with Rodents. the. Uh, no, you can't really like have a reunion with a. Well, you can put him in a little plastic and, ball. And, yeah, you know, oh, dogs, yeah, sure. dogs can push him around. True, yeah. Sure, but you know, dogs are going to be more. They're going to be more. That's going to be a heartwarming video because dogs are going to run up wagging their tails. Right, it is. Be, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, the gerbil's just going to go somewhere else. But now, right. I, now that I think about it, like Pee Wee and Bubba, that could be like a country group. You know. Yeah, now yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It could be in our music report. That <laughs> tree wins Pee Wee and Bubba. Okay. You know what? Bubba. Somebody should do that. Yeah, it does sound like a great country rock duo. <laughs> All right, it's gas report time. Okay. Tell us in the comments where you're seeing great prices for gas. That'll be helpful to everybody out there. And it looks like at the top of your list today, we have got the Owens at 780 South Ponce. They're at 339. Shell at 146 King is also at 339. Uh, same with the Sunoco at 450 South Ponce. Jumps up to 347 at the Circle K at 4564 US 1 North. The Shell at 216 Ponce de Leon Boulevard is at 353. The Gate on Mizell Road, 356. Ashwin out there on the island. A one a discount beverage three fifty nine this morning. Got any reports from Tim in there? Unfortunately, not at the moment. I'm, Is Tim okay? I, I, I didn't. I'm, I'm oh scanning. my gosh! I, he go to I'm the, now worried. Uh, Everybody go, tag Tim and blow his phone up. I'm sure he loves to hear that. Did he go to the Tim. thing with you last night? Did you guys go to the no. comedy show? Okay. Well, we got a Wawa report at three twenty nine from oh, Melissa. But saved by Melissa. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Okay. And and the new gates at three forty nine. Oh, okay. Terrible price. Yeah. Terrible but price. But it's open. Yeah, but they might as well still be closed. It's yeah. Open. <laughs> Show up shut, correct, please. Yeah, shut it down. Sharpen the <laughs> shut, 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 We don't want those damn prices out right? there. Yeah. Cut Jeez. costs somewhere. We don't need dual ply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't need free car washes. Stop giving those car washes away for free. <laughs> right? It's cutting into the price of gas. God. We want expensive car washes and cheap gas. Right. Yeah. Who washes their car? Oh. You get cheap <laughs> gas at their uh, roller station. It rained two days ago. Who washes the their car? The roller station? Yeah, at their roller station. Inside. Yeah, the roller food. Oh, gee, I get it. Smart joke. Very good. Smart joke. Yeah, let me just get... <sighs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that uh, gas report was brought to you by Chris Lucero Bail Bonds. Uh, if you are in jail and you need to get out of jail, it's very simple. Call Chris Lucero at 904-822-BAIL, 904-822-2245. And if you want to go see Tyler Farr and you actually won tickets, you got to stop by Chris's office. Yes. Pick those up this afternoon, right? They yes. got to get those this afternoon. Anytime, 9 to 3. Also put Chris's cell in there with his permission, of course. Um, oh, okay. So, yeah, good. give him a buzz. Let him know he's around. He'll get he'll get those tickets to you guys. Good deal. All right, live music time. Got a big, big list on Friday. And we're going to start with our favorite serial killer, Michael Bo Griner, at the mill top at noon. Heather Craig is at Trade Winds at 1 o'clock. Smoke and Joe Shower at the Backyard Island Cafe at Meehan's at 1. Joe Lee, the seller upstairs at 1. Ken Macy at the Milltop Tavern at 4.30. Mark Hart at Trade Winds at 5. Dewey Vaya at the Guy Harvey Resort at 5. The Driftwoods at Fish House and Oyster Company at 5 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Duran Baker, Marsh Landing Country Club at 5. Contact Buzz at Oasis at 5.30. Josh Tennessee Worthy at DJ's Clam Shack, 5 o'clock. Trevor Compton at O.C. White's at 5.30. Craig Hand. Hurricane Patty's at 6. Give him a hand. Yeah. There you go. Fawn Kaiser and Walt Kulwicki. Oh, yeah. Two legends of our list. Very good. At Shaughnessy's at 6. Vinny Jacobs at Krabby's at 6. Wes, Wes Register. Mellow Mushroom at 6. Yale, Dre, and Zaza Flamenca. Uh, the Cellar Upstairs at 6. Paper Cut at Colonial Oak at 7. Owl City. Oh, I know that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, Are they're they at the concert Owl hall. City. Owl City's Owl good. Owl City. Yeah. yeah, my friend in college was obsessed with them. Right? Really? It's like a one-man band, but he plays all the instruments, I think. I, yeah. Uh, There's like a following for that one. It's kind of hipsterish. I don't know if you yeah, guys They have it. like an emo voice, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's probably why they're at the concert hall. They're at Potter Beach Concert. Yep. 730, because they're slightly known. Yeah. The song called Fireflies. 50, 50 known. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, something like that. Fireflies, am I right? Yeah. That oh, was that that song, yeah. Fireflies? Yeah. Okay. Burp, 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 burp. Yeah, it's like a little yeah. computerized or something. Sort of sounds like Postal Service. I was thinking that the, all the, what popped into my head was that 
Satellites that oh, that's but Dave a, Matthews. Dave Matthews, yeah. yes. Satellites in, in my eyes, eye. <laughs> like a diamond <laughs> in the sky. Oh, 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 kind of the well, same. That's what the sound sounds that's what just the song like it. Sounds I have like. to get the sound out. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, I've been to so many Dave Matthews band concerts. Too many. Everybody <laughs> turns into an Oriental rug in the, in the audience. <laughs> yes, Thank they, you. Yeah. Oh boy, he's wearing <laughs> linen pants and does the chicken dance the whole time. Thank you. Dumps his oh. crap into the water. Yeah, no, no, over, over an overpass, wasn't it? Yeah, it was over an overpass. It was real, real yeah, nasty. Like, did you hear about that? No. His tour bus, like that, it almost ruined his career. Totally. He, he, he they dumped their, their brown yeah. water out yeah. of their tour bus oh, over an overpass I did hear about onto, this. onto like other vehicles. <laughs> That's yeah, kind of hilarious. Wow. Kind of a blessing. Kind of hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but it literally almost killed. I mean, it, it, where was it that? Pittsburgh or something? It, it, it something it like hurt, that. That's probably him. hard to get off the windshield. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes. Yes. You want that free car wash? <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah, you do. Get some gas so we can get a free car wash. There's the reason. Okay. Yeah. But I'm pretty see? sure Nick's going to charge extra for yeah. that. <laughs> Who else can say they got. A sample of Dave Matthews excrement. <laughs> yeah, I got. Sh- I mean, bottle. somebody should have bottled some of that. Yeah, yeah. should do be in a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, there's more. Smoking Joe shower at Mr. Chubby's Wings. <laughs> Eight o'clock. <laughs> no comments for the gallery. Well, I mean, audience. you know, lots of comments in your head. No, I can no. hear yeah. them swirling. We're yeah. doing so good this week. Yeah, <laughs> we have the most childish sense of humor. We really do. I <laughs> let's meet at Mr. Chubby. <laughs> <laughs> Drive through twice. <laughs> I got an invite from somebody that's in my inbox, and I'm going to ruin the joke that I was going to tell her. And uh, all she wrote me was, "Come on Monday." I was about to write back and say I was more of a Wednesday Adams fan. <laughs> yeah. I was more attracted to her, yeah. but you know, yeah. it's Monday. Day. It's Monday. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, honey, want to go to Chubby's? <laughs> <laughs> Come on down to Chubby. Come yeah. on over. <laughs> Chubby time. We are Live music there. childish. <laughs> okay, Billy Price. Cafe 11 and 8 o'clock. Now I can't make that joke. I was actually really looking forward to making this joke. <laughs> now I just made it. Probably for the best. Probably for the best because Clay works there. Mike Cook, Meehan's at 8 o'clock, Blister at Trade Wins at 9, Andy Dalton and Terry Campbell at 9, and Zalongo. It's a good thing Blister's not playing at Chubby's. Oh, my God, Julia. <laughs> Julia for the win. They call it Chubby Church. <laughs> Zalongo at Sarvez at 9, and Velvet 45, and Barley Republic. Velvet. <laughs> clock. Gosh. All right. Oh, goodness gracious. Griffin Services wants to distance themselves from that music report, but too bad. Your home's comfort is their top priority at Griffin Service. They do AC, plumbing, and electrical services, plus unique offerings like standby generators, water softeners, and gas work. You can experience fast, friendly, and affordable service seven days a week. No matter when your emergency pops up, they can help you out. 904-500-2653 or visit griffinservice.com and see the Grifferents. All right. I'm doing great today. <clears throat> you didn't even let me say it. No, 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 you didn't have to. I had to jump the gun. You didn't have to say it today. Uh, before we get to our Florida Man Friday, which is Florida Man accused of whacking Walgreens manager in the face with a Bible on Easter Sunday, then stealing Cheez-Its at a Walmart the next day. Wow. This guy is on a really dumb crime spree. Yeah. Yeah. Bible and Cheez-Its. And whacking. Yeah. Little chubbies. I mean, yeah. no, that was never brought up. Yeah. Vitus Roofing. <laughs> Local company for over 15 years. All their employees have much cleaner senses of humor than we do. I know. Why they're they're grown-ups. They they're are, so great. They are adults. Yeah. If you want adults working on your roof. Probably a good idea. Great idea to call Fidus Roofing. They're amazing. 904-355-ROOF. They do pavers. And gutters. Yeah. 
All right. <laughs> Florida Man Friday also brought to us by Chris Lucero, Bail Mons, 904-822-Bail. Florida Man accused of, uh, I already read that. A Florida Man, Peter Owens. Peter, what a dick. What a name. What a stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> Found himself in trouble with the law on Easter Sunday after allegedly assaulting a Walgreens manager with a Bible. I don't think that's what the Bible was intended for. In fact, quite the opposite. Right. The incident occurred at the Walgreens on Poinsettia Avenue mm. in Clearwater Beach. Owens is 35. He was subsequently arrested and charged with a felony battery. Yeah. I wonder if he had a revelation. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. Not, not bad. bad. Yeah, it's not bad. According it's kind of, to report, kind of the end of the book. <laughs> according to police reports. <laughs> Owens had engaged in a verbal dispute with a store employee over headphones before the store manager uh, intervened and asked him to leave. In response, Owens purportedly struck the manager in the face with a brown Bible he was holding. Just walking around holding a Bible and assaulting people. Mm -hmm. Is this one of the Trump Bibles? The manager was a woman. He cited her rudeness as the reason for his action. Although Owens claimed he did not intend to hit the manager... Then why'd you swing? He walked into the Bible. That's what happened. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. He was airing it out. He was because it got wet. He was going like this, and the guy walked right into it. She. Oh, excuse she. me. She. My bad. Yeah. They. He was taken into custody by authorities. He was later released from the Pinellas County Jail after posting $5,000 bond. However, Owen's legal troubles did not stop there. Oh, God. Guy. Following day, he was arrested again. Gee. This time for exactly. stealing... Men's shoes and a box of cheese. It's from Walmart in Tarpon Springs. Oh, there he is. Look at that guy. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Ooh. Well, he parts his hair down the middle. It's time to just shave it all off. Yeah, yeah let, let it go. It go. Yeah. Costanza, let it go. That's a very Costanza hairdo. Yeah. Very young Costanza look Not there. having a good day. Get the horseshoe. He would yeah. actually be way more attractive if he took that hair off. Yeah. 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 Buy a hat. Well, now's the time for reinvention, and right? Stop being a psychopath. <laughs> yeah, There's maybe a take lot that. going on. Yeah, there. yeah. get a Peter black Bible. Who has yeah. a brown Bible? Uh, Donald what? Trump. He was. I'm serious. He was selling those those brown uh, with the. They have the uh, Constitution inside for sixty bucks. I'm not kidding you. He was selling Bibles. It's a real thing. Okay. It could have been the and they were brown. I'm just saying. Subsequently, he stopped. Uh, he was stopped, stopped by a loss. Prevention officer Owens was arrested and taken into the Pinellas County Jail. Oh, Pinellas. As of Wednesday afternoon, he remained in custody on a $150 bond. Oh, that's it. That means he's got to come up with 15 bucks. <laughs> this guy literally has no friends if nobody could wow. put up a hundred, that $150 bond with 15 bucks. That's like hysterical. Said, 10%. Jeez, that's the most pathetic bond that is keeping somebody in jail ever. Right. Enjoy those Cheez-Its, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's looking for commissary Cheez-Its now. Maybe he'll find friends in jail. Maybe. Uh, Maybe. Turn around for him. There you go. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully he finds a barber. God bless, <laughs> yeah. right? Barber, Ooh. yeah. Yeah. Maybe he could just get a prison tat of a hairline. I mean, at this point, a face tat yeah. would probably help him out. <laughs> yeah. A Florida on the face. Oof. <sighs> All right, Michler's Landing Beachfront Parking reopens to the public. Thank God. That's good news. Yeah. St. John's County has reopened the public access to Michler's Landing Beachfront Parking and beach access as work progresses on the $38.6 million beach restoration project. Although the parking lot may still experience intermittent closures for public safety during equipment repair or delivery, it has been largely cleared of restoration equipment and supplies ahead of schedule. That's great. That it's rarely happens. Yeah. Well, it's important there. I mean, that literally is their only beach parking in that area. I mean, they have walkovers yeah, right. and stuff like that that have like two and three parking places along the street. But, I mean, that's the only parking place they have. Mm -hmm. So. And they do shuttles, I think, in the busy weekends, I think they do shuttles from uh, Ponte Vedra Concert Hall. So. Oh, wow. Oh, right. That would make sense. Restoration project undertaken by Weeks Marine aims to repair storm-damaged dunes and berms, enhancing storm protection for unpaid infrastructure. Unlaid. Un un All right, we're done with this story. <laughs> yeah. We're done with this story. We all yeah. get the point. Unlaid. That sounds like my life. <laughs> <laughs> Unlaid. Unlaid. The word was unplanned, oh. and I read it like that. Okay. 
<clears throat> it's close. <laughs> Two million cubic yards of stand, dredge, blah, blah, blah. Troy, how do you want to check the comments? Uh, I'm going I will make <clears throat> a foray into the fabulous comments I find from the fans. Yeah. <laughs> Patriot and Floyd, they said the standard that your home is more than a house. It's where your memories are made. They want to protect your house so you can keep on making memories and not have to worry about your insurance as much. Having a reliable local insurance agency like Bates, Hewitt, and Floyd with over 40 years of experience in homeowners insurance, auto, commercial, and benefits can be a valuable asset in navigating the unpredictable insurance market. Christy is readily available at their St. Augustine office, conveniently located across from Flagler UF Hospital. She offers complimentary policy reviews, and that's a helpful service if you're looking to make sure your insurance coverage is up to date and suitable for your needs. Give her a call, 904-794-5455, or take a visit to the office at 165 South Park Suite C. BNS Signs as well. Got to give them a big shout out. They do all our signage and a lot of important people's signage as well. Mm-hmm. Way more important than us. Well, uh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> right? I mean, Auburn University, Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. Uh, still haven't got any more important than us. Right. Your lawn signs are killer. <laughs> <laughs> they do good lawn signs. It's political season. If any of you politicians are out there watching, they'll do your yard signs. Uh, transform your business today. Stop having a crappy sign that's sending people away from your business. Get right. a good sign that's bringing people into your business. Make it inviting, mm, right? That's right. Yeah. Make them want to go there. Mm. Transform your business today. BNS Signs. Give them a call, 904-824-3323. What you got, Tony? All right. Uh, Barbara Jean and Nicole, thank you for the stars. Uh, thank you. Bray, uh, one of our younger listeners, said Thunder by Imagine oh, Dragons. Yeah, that's good. good song. Excellent, excellent song, but I don't know if you remember uh, when I got banned from doing the music coming in and out of the radio. Uh, yeah, vaguely. All right. I yes, had, you did. You, I had I had Thunder as one of my... You have to be very specific which part of Thunder you play because some of it starts pretty slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. And I did that as an yes, intro. Yes, that's right. I did that as an intro and I got banned <laughs> yes, you from did. even being able to pick music because on a radio show we we did music coming in and out. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and that was one of the songs and I got banned for like six months. Because it was too slow. Yeah. I remember but, that. But it was, it's a great song. It's so a great be song. be very specific which part you, you're going to do. I wish yep. it started um, faster. Yeah, I agree And uh, Kenny, no, Tony Belvins is not running for mayor um come on man somebody needs to somebody we need a hero we do need a hero we need a hero that song needs to play out front of city hall come on somebody Somebody step it up um yeah yeah, i agree we do but shocking to me that nobody else is yeah so um i mean i've been living on your porch for a year don't i qualify you you can qualify i'll vote for you i'd go after it yeah so um great fun comments a lot about the man's hairline so a lot about the man's yeah. hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and congratulations to all the winners. They're super excited about it. Yes. Those. Kizzy, yeah. Jen, yeah, Kenny. Gonna great. Very it's cool. It's going to be great. Good for you guys and At girls. the far grounds. Yeah. They renamed it just for Tyler, even though nobody knows who he is. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's obviously he's well known. No, he's at the Clay County Fair. They had Vanilla well. last year. Right. Yeah. No. They, yeah, they got ice this year too, right? Well, they got vanilla ice. Yeah. Right. Okay. He sings a song called A Guy Walks Into a Bar and Whiskey in My Water and Country AS. Country AS? Well, yeah, I can't Isn't say that. Country that. AF? Country, no, it's AS. Oh, wow. Yes. Is there not another S in there? Off of the album called Rednecks Like Me. Okay. Mm. Yes. Stone Stat, Troy. Um, all right, Stone <clears throat> Stat, on this day, 1976, I, Howard Hughes. Uh, died and I and I did the stone him stat because he was such an interesting human being. Um, Howard Hughes was one of the richest uh, people in the United States, you know, during the 20th century, and he he was born fairly wealthy. He inherited his dad's oil tool company, which then he invested in films early on and became even wealthier. Then he got into aviation, became an engineer. Um, you know, but he made most of his millions, which would be billions today, in real estate. So oh. he's he's he he's the one who kind of bought out uh, 
the mafia mm-hmm. in Vegas, yeah. which now is bought out by uh, the Mormons. So mm-hmm. most of Vegas is owned by Mormons now. Um, oh, wow. But Howard Howard Hughes was uh, after his he had a a really nasty uh, plane accident in '46, and he became a recluse and just went in, and his OCD got out of control, and and so. The last 15 years of his life, no one really saw him except for his aides. He lived in the uh, in the top floor of the Desert Inn, which he owned in in Vegas. And then the last five years of his life, he traveled around, uh, and he ended up dying uh, of dehydration, trying to get back uh, to the hospital from Acapulco. He oh died my on the, gosh. He died on an airplane. Oh, and wow. The, the movie... Uh, about uh, Leonardo DiCaprio uh, w- played him in the aviator. It just was very ironic. He died on his plane. Wow. Uh, at, at the age of 70. I mean, he produced Scarface back in the day. Yeah, right? Scarface, yeah. Uh, Hell's Angels, right. um, The Racket. Know, yeah. So, he, I mean, he dated, and he dated uh, like all the biggest uh, starlets, the, the movie stars and stuff like that. So, okay. um, he was married twice, but he, he when he was. The owner of the movie company, he was he was like the bees knees. Yeah, he was the Playboy of Playboy. He was yeah. he was the Jay Gatsby. <clears throat> okay, mm. very skinny. All right, that brought to you by Saint Augie's Pizza. Mm. Ooh, last night, oh, so good. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> there you go. Always so good. Yeah. Love it out there at Saint Augie's Pizza, right in between Riberia and ML King. Go grab yourself some slices today. They have great salads, too, which, by the way, I am think I'm going to have to move to those. I weighed myself this morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, plugs, Troy. What's, what's coming up right. this weekend? Um, I got the Rotary Fish Fry, which is a fundraiser for our Rotary Club uh, <laughs> happening yeah. tonight. So right. we're excited about the fr- fish fry. Great. Can anybody go to that? Or is uh, that... It, you, you have to be invited by a Rotary because it, it's... A Rotarian. It's at, the, it's at the Rod and Gun Club. Yeah. So. It's a, it's a legendary event, and I know that 50-50 is, like, very intense. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. a big moment. We're talking thousands of dollars. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Ooh. Davey? Hey, we've got Jenny coming on the show for a very special announcement. Um, as you know, uh, Jenny lost her brother, Seth Plant, um, many, many years ago, so they are pulling something together. Big announcement this afternoon. Check us out at 3 o'clock for this cool moment. Okay. Clay? I will be driving down to Stewart, Florida on Saturday, so pray for me. Okay. Oh, wow. Wear a helmet. Yeah. Buckle up. Yeah. Uh, Download the 904 Now app. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.